message, and uh, I would like to introduce to you Johnny D, the motivational cowboy. Johnny comes to us from Southeast Michigan to speak to us about living the outstanding life. Johnny was the inspiration for our 2014 convention theme, Make Your 2014 Event Outstanding. Let's give Johnny a warm M-A-F-E welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon. Are you guys fired up? Man, I am fired up. First of all, it is an absolute honor to be up here in front of everybody. Um, when I talked to Karen about six months ago, she asked me to do this, and, and I thought, you know what, how cool of a job each and every one of you have. And I, and I thought about this for a second. This morning, I woke up and I was like, you know what, my first kiss was at the county fair. <laughs> no, hang on, it gets better. <laughs> I know what some of you are thinking. <laughs> but we had so many memories. And, 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 and being from the, uh, the lower part of Michigan, the Monroe County Fair was a big one that I went to. And then the, uh, the Wayne County Fair, you know, yeah, it was awesome. I mean, my parents still go. And it's like almost like my parents are 70 years old. And they look forward to the fair every year. You know what I mean? It's like they, it's, there's something about what you all do that fires me up, you know? And that's why I believe that 2014 is absolutely going to be outstanding. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Before we even get things kicked off, we just had a lunch. We've been in some meetings. I want everybody to stand up. Come on, everybody stand up for me. And she's all by herself. Repeat after me. Say, I feel good. Wait a second, wait a second. We're going to have to do this all over again. Repeat after me. Say, I feel good. I feel good. Say, I feel real good. I feel real. Say, I feel outstanding. I feel outstanding. How do you feel? Outstanding. Now do me a favor. Look at a person right next to you. Shake their hand and say, you're outstanding. And do the same thing to the person on the other side. Okay, it's going to get better. Now some of you are going... Listen, cowboy, are you serious? Now, I want you to picture this, okay? Pretend there's a mirror right in front of you. Look in that mirror and say, you're outstanding. Now, say it like you mean it, man. You're talking to you. Say, you're outstanding. That's right. How y'all feeling? All right, give yourselves a big round of applause. Yep. If we look at the word outstanding, you look at it backwards, it means to stand out, to rise above the rest and be a little bit different. It's okay to be different. How many of us in this room right now are different? And you don't mind being different. But I am saying that a simple act of kindness goes a long way. Wouldn't you all agree? Yeah. That's a true story too. Whatever's going on in your life, don't let anybody ever tell you that you can't do something. Ever. That little 10-year-old boy saved his buddy's life because there was nobody there to tell him he couldn't do it. How awesome is that? My challenge to you is when you leave here today, the next time somebody asks you how you're doing, I want you to reply, outstanding, thank you so much for taking the time to ask. And you're looking at me going, dude, you're not that motivational because that ain't happening. <laughs> I know what some of you are thinking. <laughs> you're laughing, I know, because there are those people out there. But here's what I want. I want you to do this. I want you to just try it. I want you, the next time somebody says, hey, how are you? You're going to respond, outstanding, thank you so much for taking the time to ask it. After they pick themselves up off the floor, they're gonna be like, dang, man, that was cool. And you're gonna be like, yeah, I did that. The only thing that my daughter can find is the word outstanding, it makes us both laugh. And I just wanna thank you for that. How cool is that, right? One person you made a difference in. That one person, that one person could be a school teacher. That school teacher, is going to school be a nice 
to their 30 students because you know what? Somebody was nice to them that day. You know, it's like you become that person. People want to be around positive people. Don't you all agree? Yeah, you do, don't you? Wouldn't you rather be around somebody positive than someone negative? I said, when I know I can be the best father, the best son to my parents, I said, when I can walk into a room and put a smile on someone's face, that's success. I lie in my bed, reach inside that box, I pull out a hug or a kiss from my daughter, and I realize that life does not got the best of me, but I have got the best of life. Wouldn't you all agree? Again, yeah. I said, give me as many roses as I can buy. The guy wraps them up. Now, I'm walking out of the flower store, looking good, feeling good and nowhere to go. I sit in my car, I put the roses right next to me, and I'm like, well, what am I going to do with these roses? I look across the street, and there was a convalescent home that I used to go to when I was in high school. Perfect. Drove my car over there, walked up to the front door. I'm looking good, I'm feeling good, got all these roses in my hand. I ring the buzzer, the nurse comes, and she goes, can I help you? I said, yep. I get down to the very last rose. I kneeled down. I said, happy Valentine's Day. This lady was paralyzed on the left-hand side. And she grabs onto that rose, and she starts crying, and she looks at me, and she goes, mister? I said, yes, ma'am. She goes, wipe my tears. She goes, because I'm not letting go of this rose. No one's been this nice to me in 10 years. And I thought, this is exactly why I'm here tonight. Now, I'm pumped up, right? I'm feeling good inside. I'm wiping her tears. I'm crying. The story gets better. I leave there feeling awesome. Like, I get, I get emotional just telling the story because I, I, I'm telling it just like the way it happened. That a simple act of kindness goes a long way. Wouldn't you all agree? Yeah. No, seriously. It, it, and, the, and, and, and the coolest thing is, you have the ability, you're putting on fairs. You have the coolest jobs ever. I see that smile right there. You're smiling. That's how pumped up I'm getting. You guys are awesome. Everybody that walks through your gates, you are, you are putting a memory to them and to their families. How awesome is that? Well, you know what? Sometimes our biggest fears and what we think is fear, fearful, after we overcome them, we were like, you know, it really wasn't that bad. Just like some of your fears. You may be thinking to yourself, you know what? I'm going to try something different this year. Do it. Don't be scared. Whatever's going on, whatever is going on, again, don't run from a toothless bulldog. I'm going to end it with this. And uh, it's called for you. And it goes like this. Live each day as if it were your last. Build on the future and not on the past. Reach for the stars, but don't fall down. And get back up with a smile and not a frown. Dream big. There's no room for small. And no matter what, walk proud and tall. Don't wait for things to go your way. Go out and get them forever to stay. Never give up and never let go. Strive to be the best. Then they'll know that you've become the best that you can be. And believe in yourself, and that's all you ever did need. This is Johnny D, the Motivational Cowboy, telling you, be safe, have fun, and have an outstanding 2014. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you.